So now let us see pulse amplitude modulation, pulse width modulation and pulse position modulation. Now we know that for any kind of modulation you need two important signals. One is the carrier signal that is the carrier signal and another is the modulating signal. So in case of PAM, PWM and PPM the carrier signal is nothing but, but that's a pulse. So let's see whether we have a pulse signal or not with us. So I am disconnecting an oscilloscope and this is a pulse output of 8 kilohertz. So let me connect it over here. Now you can see that we have a 8 kilohertz pulse output signal which will we use as a carrier signal. Now let's see whether we have a modulating signal or not with us. So I am just connecting this is a sine wave of 1 kilohertz or 2 kilohertz so i just put it at a 1 kilohertz so i am having a 1 kilohertz sine wave with me as a modulating signal so we have a sine wave which is a modulating signal of 1 kilohertz so this is a modulating signal of 1 kilohertz now we need to connect these two signals to a circuit <coughs> which is a calm circuit which is a sampling uh, circuit so let's first connect pulse to a pulse amplitude modulator circuit. So we are just connecting the pulse here. So I have connected this pulse as a to a input of a my palm circuit. Let's connect sine wave as a modulating signal to the modulating signal input. But before connecting that, let me remove this and let me show you what is the output of my sampling circuit so this is my sampled circuit so right now i am getting the constant amplitude pulses because i have not connected any modulating signal now let's add modulating signal to this you can see that the signal is sampled and we are getting the sampled output over here so these are all the sampling sampled circuit so this is the sample output and the amplitude of each pulse is changed by the instantaneous value of modulating signal. So let me change the instantaneous value of modulating signal. So I am just changing its amplitude. So you can see that the amplitude of each pulse is now changing. So basically this is the PAM that is the simple pulse amplitude modulation or we can say that is the simplest natural sampling so you can see that because every pulse every pulse here you can see that that is basically changing following the signal curve say for here it is like that for here it is like that so each pulse is carrying this at the top of the each pulse is following the signal shape and this is also called as the natural sampling now there is <coughs> another sampling circuit which we call as a flat top sampling that means whatever the signal i am sampling it the top of the pulse should not follow the shape of the signal which has been sampled but at, it should be flat so i am having here a flat top sampling circuit so let's see the difference between these two i am just connecting it over here now you can see that the signal it's sampled so same signal is sampled with the same uh, modulating signal but now each sample is having flat top so that is the reason it is also called as the uh, flat top sampling let's see compare it with the natural sampling so let me connect again the ground here so i'm just putting it here i'm just connecting the ground here i'm just connecting it here to the channel 2 let me switch it on channel 2 let me change its amplitude now you can see that both the signals you can see that <coughs> the blue one is natural sampling the E sample is carrying basically the uh, shape of the signal which has been sampled while the yellow one is basically the flat top sampling where every pulse the top of the pulse is basically the flat now we have another 
sampling method sample and hold so it is nothing but the output of the sample circuit is connected to a capacitor and then capacitor is being charged by the sample which is being sampled that capacitor is charged and it is put on hold till the next cycle comes when the next cycle will come again either capacitor will be charged towards positive or the negative so this is how you are holding the sample which you have sampled so that is another output here what i am having so let me connect it over here so this is basically a sample and hold so this is a sample and hold output yellow one is basically <coughs> the flat top sampling let's see the sample and hold with respect to the natural sampling so you can see that both the signals here so here the pulse is coming again back to zero level but at in the blue one you can see that sample is been kept hold when next sample came again it is been charged further so this is how that is basically the sample and hold so these are the three basic sampling or the pulse amplitude modulation techniques one is the natural sampling second is the flat top sampling the third is the sample and hold output so these three parallel parallelly we have seen and seen the uh, how this pulse amplitude modulated signal is now we all know that how to derive your baseband signal your modulating signal from a sampled signal so simply we need to connect that sampled output to a low pass filter which will remove the high frequency samples and it will help you to derive the modulating signal so let's connect that so i am just connecting i am just connecting the sample output to the filter so which is a low pass filter let me channel to off now let me connect or let me see here i am getting at uh, this point for example i am getting at this point the sampled signal so the filter input it a sample signal now i am connecting and giving it to a filter which is having a low pass filter with cut off frequency of 3.4 kilohertz so i'm just connecting the output of that filter and you can see that we are deriving the same modulating signal if you can see if i vary the amplitude at the modulated signal you can see that the amplitude of the reconstructed waveform is also varying now let's connect sample and hold so i'm just simply connecting the sample and hold so the moment i have connected sample and hold you can see that in this case also i am getting the same signal modulating signal but now you can see that the amplitude is more because the power content of the signal which you are giving at the input of filter is more and that is the reason the amplitude of uh, output through a sample and hold circuit is always better so this is how we are getting with sample and hold now let's see how we get so this is what with the sample now let's connect it to the flat top so i have connected to the flat top the flat top again the amplitude has gone down because there is no as such major change what we have done instead of natural sampling means the top of the pulse following the shape of the signal instead of that we have just made top of the pulses flat that is the reason else everything was same so that is the reason we get here the same output through a pump modulation so we have seen three major pulse amplitude modulation methods one is the sampling second is the sample and hold the sampling is also called as the natural sampling and the third one we had seen the flat top sampling we had also seen that how to reconstruct or how to extract the modulating signal from this pulse amplitude modulated output simply by passing through a low pass filter which removes the high sampled frequencies and we get our modulating signal 